Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, and good night, wherever it is, whenever it is you're watching this video. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning to, looks like Far North Coins, peeping on us at work. Very awesome. Thanks for being first up in the chat for this morning. I got Helper One with me here today. Hello. And we are going to have a little fun with a penny box battle while the other helpers are off playing hockey. Uh, helper One has a hockey game right now, and uh, Helper Two, sorry, Helper One is right next to me. Helper Two is has a game in a little bit, and Helper Three had a game at 6.45 this morning. Uh, so that was a little ridiculous to get up and get going to a hockey game that early in the morning. Um, but <clears throat> we gotta get them in while we can. We had a three-week uh, pause due to the rink being shut down for COVID all around the state. So we uh, excited to have some games back. So it was like five games in six days. Jessica Poland, good morning, good morning, good morning. Thanks for stopping by this morning. We are going to have a little bit of fun on the uh, penny hunt this morning. Uh, Helper number one hasn't had a chance to do any hunts lately. Helper number two has been taken over all over the place with his nickel hunts and his penny hunts. And it's time that uh, I get back to beating helper number one. <laughs> when was the last time you actually beat me? Uh, wasn't it? Oh, no, you won last time. I think it was the first time we battled. Oh, well, that's not okay. Yeah, that's not okay. We have a dog with us. <laughs> That's true. Legit Sir Noobs, good morning, good morning. Yes, we have the the helper hound in here today because nobody else is around. <clears throat> he doesn't care much for pennies or coins of any kind. He just likes to eat everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we are going to follow the same pattern that we continue to follow. Uh, we have the score sheet uh, and everything works according to plan. I will keep it updated. Oh, there's the microscope, and there's the score sheet. Oops, I need to update it because I'm playing against helper one this morning, not helper two. This is left over from our nickel battle the other day. All right, there we go. There's helper one, and got the scope. Got my lucky flat penny from a family trip to the Wisconsin Bells under the scope this morning. So we're going to have a good time. <laughs> Finally wake up early enough for a stream. Uh, legit. Well, happy to have you here for sure. What's that? Mine has a moose. Yours has a moose? I liked your moose, but this was from uh, Standing Rocks, I believe. Standing Rock. So that was way cool. Super fun. I agree. Far North Coins. It is time we have an epic box. This one has actually been sitting under the desk uh, for quite a while. Uh, we've had a couple of different boxes down there. We have uh, another one. And we got one more in reserve just in case so we can do another one of these. Um, all right. Right side, left side. Mm, I want the other side. You want the left side? Yes. All right. Let's see. Joey kicked my tail with the uh, right side the other day. And let's... Do you want to use one of the uh, yeah. Penny Dog 2.0 official coin roll openers? Stabby stabby. Or stabbers? Stabby yes. All right. Let's look for enders. What do we got? Anything exciting? I thought you were grabbing your loot, but I was thinking, like, you're not that old. No, no, not that old. Um, just got some old dirty coins. No enders. All right. So you want this side? Okay. So I'm going to stack yours over here. A lot of static. All right. Let me. Microphone. Let's see if that'll help. If not, I can uh, maybe try to switch mics. But we'll see. Maybe it's raining. And it was rain that you heard. It's not raining. We got like three, four inches of snow. We do. We did get a boatload of snow. Um, which I got to use my snowblower. So I'm always happy when I get to use my snowblower. And I'm always happy because snow. <laughs> Eric Sizemore. 
Thanks for stopping by, brother. Thanks for checking us out. <laughs> Official coin opener. Yes, Penny Dog. I'm Penny Dog. Sure just oh no, no, no. These are special. These are official coin roll opening tools developed by Penny Dog. She has her own YouTube channel. This is the 2.0 version with the magnet on the end and a very strategic coin opening and here. That's why it was connecting to a bunch of metal things in my room. I was correct. so confused. I was like, what in the Correct, correct. And However, I didn't know the purpose of this. I was like, is that a pen? Go down. However, I let the helpers use the penny dog opener and I use John Wilkes booth for opening my coin rolls. So away we go. Let's see what we got. Make sure you're up this under is here. Fun. We will get started. We'll do uh, we'll do a giveaway about halfway through, like we usually do. Uh, we will give away this Morgan copper round about halfway through, and then uh, I grab just a couple of Indian head scents that we'll give away uh, at the end of the box. Oh, this is clever. Yeah. Uh oh, I don't know if this is a good sign or a bad sign. What? I opened the first roll and I splashed everything everywhere. Uh oh. Hoping you knock over your coffee. Oh no. And a knife. Why do you, what? That's my ulu. That's my ulu that I just got. This was very exciting. Yeah. So this is my ulu from Alaska. Far North Coin sent it my direction. Pretty sweet, huh? Did it come huh? with your coffee? It did. Know. It came with my coffee. I'm giving away from a, one of my videos that I have that I haven't, uh, uh, I just dropped that one yesterday. Which one? A uh, video where I had some coins from Michael Kittle and from Far North. <laughs> very, very versatile Far North coins. I agree. Bionic Bull 88. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thanks for stopping by this morning. Dun, 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 dun. Put that one up there for later. <laughs> How's work going, Far North? Hope it's uh, uneventful. I get a feeling your line of work can be uh, a little eventful at times. What is your work? What's his job? Uh, from my understanding, he works in a correctional facility, a.k.a. where the bad guys are. Bum, 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 bum. This is unacceptable. I have found nothing in the first roll. Blocking my light, though. <clears throat> Let me sort them over here a little bit better so people can see what you're doing. Looks like my arms aren't very long. Your arms are not long? Here, I'll scooch over. Make some more room for you. We got a little bit different setup here in the last couple weeks, taking advantage of some new space. Ooh, that's nice. Bum, 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 ba -dum. Nothing at all. Nothing even worth bringing up on the scope. Sadness. To the box you go. Throwing <laughs> everywhere. Two hundred ninety. Dude. That's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. Holy cow. Well, hopefully you are staying safe while you are working there for sure. Papa Giorgio, good morning. Thanks for swinging by this morning. Don't, 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 bump. Boop, 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 boop. What we got here? I need to see better. Hope everybody is having a great weekend. We had a very busy weekend here at Carl's Coins House. We did. We did. Well, everybody but you, <laughs> helper number one. Although you had your Roblox robot competition. I did. Yes, I did. You should tell people about that. That was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I'm proud of you that you guys did a great job. So, um, I do this thing called FLL. It stands for First Lego Week. Um, and 
basically, it's a robotics competition, um, and there are two parts to the competition. You have um, your innovation project, where there's a theme every year where you have to solve, you have to come up with a solution to a common problem. This year's problem was what's a way that we can get people to be more active. <coughs> um, and um, the other part of the competition is obviously you build a robot and it goes through certain obstacles. I was disappointed to find out that none of the obstacles involved fire or projectiles or shooting at the other team. That made me kind of sad. Our robot has um, a little uh, flame Lego, Lego piece, if that makes anything better. <laughs> um, but so my team, uh, my team's name was po Potato Tornado. <laughs> Don't know how we came up with that, but we did. The well, team know, names. I, I Iowa is known for potatoes. Oh, we are. No, we're not. Okay. Idaho is. That's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. Was kind of Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I interrupted. Keep going. As I was saying. <clears throat> The team names this year were kind of weird. Like, one of the other teams from AMS was, uh, <laughs> according to um, one of the uh, judges, probably the longest name that I have ever had in FLO history. While we were while you were reading our team name, we stole your sandwich. I, I heard that team name, and that made me laugh. That made me laugh a whole bunch. <clears throat> while you were reading our team name, we stole your sandwich. I like that name. So how did your robot do? Um, so we earned 270 points, um, putting us uh, second within the um, people in AMS's scores and third overall. Nice. <clears throat> um, and we won the Robot Design Innovation Award. Um, and then one of our mentors won their new... Uh, Mentor award. I don't remember exactly what it was for, but it was mentors and coaches. Mm -hmm. Put on that. Yeah, it was super weird this year because it had to be all done remote, which made me sad. Papa Giorgio, Lego League started around eight years ago here, and it's cool for the kids to do and come together. Congrats for taking part. Um, absolutely. We love Lego League. All the helpers have done it. Uh, and in fact, helper number three is in FRC, which is the first robotics club. Mm -hmm. where they build legit robots. I mean, they're cutting the metal out. They're doing the the wiring. They're doing the... Uh, um, and Helper 3 writes grants. <laughs> um, yep, and Helper 3 does all the grant writing for it because it's ex super expensive. But again, they don't get to shoot each other or uh, use fire or spinning blades or anything like that. But it's still really stinking cool. Um, so I'm on the board. Bright and early. Ooh, look at that. We got a foreign. Bless you. Canadian. Let's say 1988. Oi, that's a dirty coin. Yep, 1988. On the board with the first Canadian. With the first Canadian. First, first Canadian. I'm Mike Tyson today. All right. Who's Mike Tyson? Get you some of that. Uh, Mike Tyson is a boxer. <laughs> talking to one of my friends the other day and she was very offended that I've never been um, through a corn maze. Through a corn maze? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're kind of weird. You think everything is weird and dumb. Not everything. Hey, we. Oh, nice. What's the year? That's not a bad looking one. figure out how to hold Over here a little bit more. Okay. Um, so it's a 56. Nice. D, I believe. Good job. It's a 56 D. I am on the board. On the board. Sure, a weedy is more points than a foreign. It oh, is. A weedy is more points than a foreign. <clears throat> <laughs> Gesundheit. Indeed. Everybody heard you sneeze. <laughs> yeah. So, it was doo-doo, <laughs> doo-doo. Doo -doo. I said doo-doo. I don't um, Due to uh, restrictions, however, all the competitions are remote, so it's super weird. And only three teams made up. Technically, it was yeah. supposed to be only two teams. So, so this was 
This was the first time we didn't have anybody from this house move on to state for about five years, but state's all sorts of funky and weird this year anyway. Um, my favorite is for FRC, though, for the older kids, uh, if you qualify for Worlds, you get a you win a trip to Detroit, <laughs> but that's not happening this year either. Because, you know, winning a trip to Detroit is a coveted prize these days. Sorry if anybody's from... Detroit. Detroit. How do we determine points legit? Tell you what, I'll bring the scorecard up here just a oh, second. Oh, Science Olympiad. I've wanted to try it, but oh, I yeah. haven't had time. Yeah. I've been in Math Olympiads before. So, here's our points. Um, we kind of just snag some from different places. Um, we get points for Indian head pennies, teens to 30s, 40s to 50s, steel pennies, Canadian foreigns, foreign others. We do keep all 2009s, any of the, the low mintages or key dates. And then uh, when I uh, want to do a box battle against Helper 1, we also make sure play money is in there because one time I found a plastic dime in a roll of pennies so she thought that was a riot uh and then we also get points for any varieties or brilliant uncirculated looking pre <laughs> excuse me goodness sorry about that folks i should have hit the mute button pre-1982 um coins so we get points that way i'm actually going to adjust this really quick adjust english english are hard today english has been hard this whole week Back on the topic of, like, science and math Olympiads, um, I really enjoy science, but I'm better at math, but I absolutely dread math. It is one of my least favorite things. <laughs> yeah, but you're really good at it. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I like it. <laughs> yeah, I suppose not. Not seeing all of my score sheets, so I need to adjust this just a little bit. Um, on the dark side of the Lego League only having three teams go to state, all three teams that went were from AMS, which is the school I go to. <clears throat> there so we that's go. Fun. Now you can see that uh, Helper One is currently in the lead, five to my three. And I will go back to hunting my pennies. Yep, so we're not all about coins around the house. We got the math and science going on. We're programming death robots. We'll kill you with Legos. I mean, you really probably could. Just lay some out on the floor. <laughs> Good luck. I saw this one meme, it's from a while ago, but, um, uh, mom was trying to, uh, like, I don't remember, but a mom got mad at her kid, and her kid was <laughs> worried, so he we went into his room, spread like it was everywhere, and sat on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get me. Oh, Eric, ah, I am very excited about the Big 12 Championships. Uh, and special thanks to my friends at Florida who decided that throwing a shoe would be worth losing their game and thus giving Iowa State yet another feather in their cap to sneak their way into the playoffs. However, they got to beat OU for a second time. And beating Oklahoma, beating any team twice in one season is, is hard. Um, beating Oklahoma twice in one season, that's super hard. That's a disaster. Gross penny. Just don't step on the Lego. <laughs> yep, exactly. Goodness, these have been sad rolls today. <clears throat> it's the worst feeling, especially at 2 a.m., I bet. <laughs> I don't know. As a parent, I've stepped into a lot of other things that I don't like just as much as Legos uh, as an adult at 2 o'clock in the morning. Why are you up at 2 a.m.? 
The only reason that I think any adult should be up at 2 a.m. is on Christmas to make cinnamon rolls. Usually, if I'm up at 2 a.m., it's to take care of one of you yahoos. Another Canadian for Carl's Coins. Points for me. Thing is, I don't need those in my Canadian collection. Neither do I. I'll send them to Alfred. Ooh, 59. Who's Alfred? Save that for him. Alfred R., uh, another YouTuber that's around. Uh, he's from Canada. Canadian? Or a Jax. Or a Hot Wheel car. Oh, <laughs> uh, no kidding. Uh, all of those things. That that just sucks. Stepping on that stuff. Ooh. I don't think we ever played with Look at me. I get all the points. Got a wheat penny. All right, what do we think? What do we think? What do we think? I bet it's a 50-something. Yeah, likely. All right, let's see. 42. Nice. Crushing it. That's my first wheat penny, though. Go me. So I was popping around the Discord, uh, JW's Discord, actually, and somebody had put on there that they had found a discounted PlayStation Network subscription. Um, and normally I don't buy that sort of stuff off eBay because I don't trust people. However, I'm like, ah, oh, what the heck, let's give it a shot. So I went and bought it because I keep hearing about this stupid Fall Guys, Fall Guys game. I wanted to play it forever. It kind of <laughs> died like five months ago, though, in like August when people were like, they liked it for like, um, like what, like, um, they liked it for about um, a week or two, and then Among Us just came in and smacked it. <laughs> indeed, indeed. So we went ahead and got it. It worked, um, which I was shocked. And uh, so then we downloaded Fall Guys, <clears throat> and that game's infuriating. I love it. Um, no, I... I would rather step on Legos, <laughs> yet I keep playing it. I keep going back and trying to get better. Bionic Bull 88. I think there's a few folks in the chat today that uh, play Fall Guys. How many crowns do you have? We have five, I think. We have five whole crowns. And it's not because we've won. It's just because we've leveled up that far. <laughs> um, which isn't saying much. Among Us is a lot better. Yeah. I enjoy it. Because you can play Among Us with your friends a lot easier. Um, also, it's free, and you don't have to, like, have anything pre-purchased to have it. That's but, I mean, true. I did, I did buy a little friend to follow me around <laughs> in Among Us. <laughs> indeed, indeed. It, it, uh, rage quitting is there for sure. I don't think I've ever rage quit. Helper, oh. Helper 3 Rage quits a bunch. <laughs> like, he will he will stop. Like, if he thinks he's going to lose, he will stop dead in the middle and just say, all right, I'm out. That's kind of dumb. Okay, so for the people who play Among Us... <laughs> he's, he's sus. <laughs> <laughs> for the people who play Among Us, what color do you main? Color do you main? It means, like, what color do you use most often? Oh. What color do you mean? Oh, okay. Like, it's your main color. So, oh. what color do you mean? You're yellow, right? No. Oh, you don't do bananas? No. Um, also, it would be a lemon, but... <clears throat> my... J-Dub, don't make me put you on mute. Go Hawks. Whatevs. Although, uh, the uh, Iowa State Hawkeyes destroyed the Cyclones in basketball... On Friday night, but that was to be expected. The only sport I can sort of understand is hockey. That's because we've drug you to hockey games to, since you were itty bitty. <laughs> you the Badgers? Oh, I also main purple. My purple is red. What's the default color when you go get in the first time? Well, okay, uh, when you get in the first time, I don't. Okay, so here's the thing. There are like twelve color options, and they max is ten players. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, so depending on um, who already has chosen the color, because you can't be the same color as someone else, um, that'll define what color you go in as. 
Hey, AZ Checkers. Good morning. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, we are cheeseheads who love beer. I prefer to eat my cheese as opposed to wear it on my head. I have a friend who's from Wisconsin. Oh, yeah? I have mm -hmm. lots of friends from Wisconsin. Well, yeah, because you go there on a regular basis. I do. During hockey season, I think I have residency in Wisconsin. A normal hockey season, anyway. Yeah, the, the helpers tried to get me to play Among Us. I'm not good at it. I typically try to play it every Friday with my, with a group of my friends. Um, we haven't been playing it recently because everyone's busy. <laughs> yeah, but with uh, Lego League done for the season, you should have some time. Yeah, plus upcoming uh, winter break. Oh, yeah, that's right. You guys have about a week of school left. And then it's hangout time. I used to live right next to Iowa Wild Arena back when I was, when it was, oh, the Chops. When it was what? the Chops. Um, yeah, we're waiting like crazy for, uh, so we were season ticket holders for the Wild, the Iowa Wild there. Mm -hmm. um, I actually enjoy going to those games. Uh, we're waiting to hear what this season's going to look like. <clears throat> Hopefully I get to use, we get to use some of our seats, but we'll see. I enjoy, like, Iowa Wild games because people are allowed to get in fights. Not technically, but, like, they do. <laughs> they do. They get in fights, and it's fun. It's fun to watch. But when the high schoolers get into fights they at the suspended. high school games, that's not so good. They get in trouble. Yeah. No no fighting in high school hockey. Seven. Oh, before it's... Oh, so the Bucks. The Bucks is the USHL affiliate. So, uh, you had... The Buccaneers, then you had, then the Chops came in, and then they left, and the Wild came in, but we still have the Bucks down in Des Moines. In fact, they're the only ones playing hockey in Des Moines right now, uh, is the Buccaneers. The Iowa Wild are in the AHL. They are affiliated with the Minnesota Wild. And then the Bucks are in the USHL. <laughs> this is helper one this is a sad box it's a good thing we could talk about video games and sports today yeah sports aren't really your thing though no <laughs> what's your favorite video game I want to know Can they still check in high school hockey? Because of yeah, uh, J Dub, yeah, they can uh, check in high school. In fact, they start checking at U fourteen, which would be the bantam level. Um, so helper number two is bantam level, and they're just learning to check uh, safely, which some people would see and go, "That's not safe," oh, but it is. And then in high school, they're checking all over the place, but definitely no fights. Not fun unless you get hurt. Farming simulator. Yeah, J-Dub plays a ton of farming simulator. So, J-Dub, I need some help. Because when I got my Stadia, one of the first games I downloaded was Farming Simulator. And everybody made fun of me. All yeah. the helpers made fun of me. The people at work made fun of me. That's a dumb game. <laughs> I don't get the point of it. Do you just sit and farm? Yeah, you farm and you make money. Go get a real farm. No, that's work. <laughs> NHL 94. Ah, nice. Good pick, AZ. AZ checkers. Good pick. Good pick. I enjoy the NHL games. But, um, like, I don't think we own uh, NHL 2021 yet. We do not own 21 yet, but the new NHL game is a standing <laughs> request for Helper 3 for Christmas gifts. So we'll see if Santa brings him his... NHL game. Uh, yes, Santa. Yes, Santa. <laughs> For all of the children watching this. I don't think any children would watch clips. You're a children. Yeah, I'm a weird children. Yeah, you are a weird children. All of my children are weird, but... That's your own fault. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Halo and every NCAA football game, I still have my copy of 14, the last good one, Dynasty Mode Forever. Eric, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, those are great games. So there was one... Whatever was it fourteen the last year for uh, NCAA? 
football because that was one helper number three requested um and i refused to pay what they were asking for on ebay but he snagged one for like 80 bucks or some ridiculous number boy we're not even finding any 2009s and i'm almost halfway through my rolls already we usually get 2009s at least yeah this is a, this sucky is a, box. This is a sad box today it's kind of a pretty looking 73. <laughs> uh, all right, what do we got? J Dubs. Here's one example of why it's fun. I'm currently building my dad's farm from Peru on the game. So since I can't be home, I get to farm on his farm. J Dub, that's really cool. Okay, that's actually. That's cool. really neat. I don't know if I've even told you about this, Dad, but um, in Minecraft, I'm building a. <laughs> Hogwarts replica. Oh, nice. <laughs> Except there are lots of rooms that you don't get to see. So I get... You get to guess. Yeah, I get complete um, creative liberty. There you go. The only two common rooms that we've ever actually seen in the movies and um, been described in the books are um, Ravenclaw common room um, and Gryffindor common room. Um, so for Slytherin and uh, Hufflepuff... I know where they are, but... So, we I agree, legit sir noobs. We do play a lot of Minecraft around here. Kind of goes in streaks. Mm. Uh, the helpers like when I play Minecraft because I enjoy mining. And it's so weird to us. It's like, <laughs> who enjoys mining? It's a chore. And I just go and go and go and go and go. Uh, so right now, I've built a ridiculous <clears throat> mine in one of our maps... That's, uh, what are we, about 3,000 blocks <laughs> yeah. long? Um, um, but I'm putting a rail system in there, so I, that'll be fun. My but brother's, oh, sorry. I was just going to say, but the kids like playing with me because they, they never run out of uh, resources. Because <laughs> <laughs> if we ask if we can borrow cobblestone or if we ask that we can borrow coal, you always have some. Uh, legit sir noobs, I do not have a gaming channel. Um... Maybe you need one. No, I don't think so. There are some things that I like to do just with the fam or just by myself <clears throat> that I don't think need to be streamed. I appreciate I appreciate those that do, but I like my coins. I like sharing my coins with folks. And honestly, I'm terrible at these games. Uh, so nobody really wants me to wants well maybe they do wants to watch me swear that i fell through the stupid fans again in big fan on fall guy or i'm oblivious and a creeper comes up behind me and blows up and i lose stuff maybe that's what it is the complete idiots video <laughs> game channel so helper number two and three like building and i um <laughs> Enjoy taming a ridiculous amount of animals and bringing them everywhere around our world. Yes. How many you got over there? Two, four, six. Two, four. Two, four, six. Eight, ten, five. twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Yeah. Woo! You got to speed it up. <laughs> Being terrible makes the content fun. Yeah, it might be. You can point and laugh. Ha ha! The guy from The Simpsons. Except I don't... You guys don't watch The Simpsons. No. Even though it's still on. It's on Disney Plus. It is. But so is The Mandalorian. Yeah. And that's much better. Indeed. Baby Yoda. They gave him a name. They did, but shh, don't... Don't... No spoilers. Sorry. No spoilers. I've only made it... I'm into episode two of season two. Either way, I don't like it. And I'm going to continue calling him Baby Yoda. <laughs> JW, it might already exist, an idiot's guide to gaming. <laughs> or rage out. <laughs> or rage quit. Rage quit. I wonder if there are any games, like, literally called rage quit, just their purpose is to make you rage quit. I think that's called Fall Guys. No, well, uh, I don't <laughs> rage quit. I don't think I've ever rage quit a game. Uh, I used to rage quit Monopoly all the time. You did? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not the video game, the board game. 
and Risk is another one. Jeepers, that's all we're talking about is Game Snake because these coins are boring. Where the heck are all my good coins? <clears throat> Rage Quit Risk. Flip the board. I've never played Risk, but I refuse to. Holy cow. To. It's a it's long nice 1975. Fred. Who's Fred? Fred. Who's Fred? Fred? Fred's Baby Yoda's real name. Oh, I was... Uh, <laughs> I was like... I thought... Okay. I was... In my head, I was still thinking about Harry Potter, and I thought you were talking about Fred Weasley. No I Weasleys. Talking. I was like, what? No Weasleys. <clears throat> I'll have to watch the chat. Go. <laughs> Screw Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a fun, like... What do you got? Look at how rainbow you. Oh, yeah. Very cool toned one, 1993. I want it. Not bad. To keep going through there, I'll watch the chat. Banker's always the cheater. Game's called Evil Mario or makes you die super easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, Monopoly always gets... It's when trades start to get involved. Then, uh, then things get bad. Like, oh, I'm going to trade you Boardwalk for Browns. Nope. Or let's gang up against Dad. We never do that. Everyone gangs up against me because I'm the only girl. <laughs> hey, if you're the banker and people aren't paying attention to their math, then that's their fault. That's kind of how I look at it. There's the there's actually a version of Monopoly called Cheaters Monopoly, where you legit Are try you to cheat. Yeah, and then they have this little set of handcuffs. <laughs> yes, because people don't get angry enough at that game as it is. Let's make it worse. You know, here's the thing. They also have the world's longest version of Monopoly, and something I thought about getting to spite you guys, because you always quit in the middle, or rather the boys do, um... The world's shortest game of Monopoly. Ooh, I like short Monopoly. Monopoly Deal. That was a fun one. Ugh, card games are too much. You like exploding kittens okay. and your unicorns game. And my alpacas game. Yes. See, and they need more versions your... of that same game. I love it. Let me say, look at all your card games that you play. They need to have a separate goat version. Ram. They might have a goat. No, because there's goats in the other thing. Yeah, I know. Uh, Mario Kart Monopoly is the best game. It ends super quick. You do races, roll the highest, see who wins the cards. Huh, cool. Dad, we have Mario Kart Monopoly. Do we? Yeah. Have we played it? We haven't played it in a long time. No, we haven't, but we have it. We do have a lot of versions of Monopoly, because I am a fan of Monopoly, but... But you also hate Monopoly. Uh, it depends on who I'm playing with. If I'm playing with your uncle... Which uncle? Uh, the one that lives in town. Okay. He's, uh... Ruthless Monopoly. He's just good at every game. No. He's just mean. He's just good. <laughs> and you're just salty. That's true. I don't like to lose. <laughs> oh, yeah. Monopoly Empire. That is another good version that goes we, pretty quick. Yeah, we have that one we too. Also have that one. <clears throat> All right. Goodness. I'm going to have to start like pulling coins from the collection, like over here. And say, oh, look, I found this already flipped 1909 Indian head in the box. What a deal. Wow. Wow. Remind me again what it was before Indian heads. It was Flying Shark Sense. Flying Shark? <laughs> no. <laughs> flying Eagle. I was like, what? <laughs> See if Far North is still listening. Tired. So he was doing uh, he was doing an auction, and one of his helpers were helping him, and he called it a flying shark scent, um, and so now that's what it's called for, all the time. <clears throat> it's now a flying shark scent. Okay. Because you know, totally makes sense. I have two top there. <laughs> no, I got the most sleep out of everyone. I think. That you did. You did not have to get up for the early game this morning. Stratego. Stratego is another one that's pretty good, Papa Giorgio. Not a lot of people play that anymore. Uh, oh, we play Stratego occasionally when we're over at the uh, Cousins. Yep. 
we get to celebrate Christmas with them today. Indeed. We're actually going to visit family for the first time in forever. I wonder how many dumb decisions I've made that are on camera. <laughs> More than I have. <laughs> yeah, because you're old. <laughs> Far North, that made me laugh like crazy. <laughs> you got the flying shark scent. Okay, totally makes sense. Oh, past the pigs. Yep. Played that one as well. Am I not supposed to be putting those in there? Uh, no, this is... <laughs> these are for the Sorry. coins, not for the trash. I You're saw fine. I saw you put one in there early on. Yeah, I made a mistake. So That's okay. I started putting them in there and not questioning it. It's all right. I do have, sitting here next to me, though, uh, some coins. I did a video about these. Um... But I thought I'd share since these boxes are kind of boring right now and I've gotten halfway through my box. Um, I had a box of metal detecting finds from a family member and we had some really, really cool ones. We got a 1898 Indian head scent. I thought I was... That was buried. And 1899. He sent these to me all filthy so I got to clean them up. And see what they were, which was really, really cool. Someday I might start metal detecting, but we'll see. 1905. And these all come off of different family properties uh, that he's metal detected before. Mom doesn't really want you starting another super expensive. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. But this one is by far the best one. This one, this one came from our century farm uh, here in Iowa. Now this one is obviously very cleaned, but... That is a very cool Merc Dime that they dug up. Um, so that was some neat, neat different things for me to be able to get a hold of with those uh, metal detecting. But that's just one of those things that we don't have a good place here to do it. Um, this area is pretty new. Um, so I don't anticipate finding a whole bunch. Let's go ahead and pop the scorecard up and see where we're sitting right now. Uh, you're beating me. I am. I am ahead 11 to 5, courtesy of my three foreign coins. Although we're close enough to Canada anymore, it's... Or is it really a foreign coin at that point? No, it's not the coins are different. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. Exciting Sunday, getting prepped for the holidays if you celebrate. We're on night three of Hanukkah if you are Hanukkah celebrators. Got Christmas coming up. All sorts of good stuff going on. St. Nicholas talk was last weekend. We did. St. Nicholas Day was last weekend. We got our got our candy, our lottery tickets. Somehow didn't end up getting kidnapped. And... That's true. That's true. Krampus did not come and steal you and take you away in a sack. That's good. He must have missed my letter. <laughs> Papa Giorgio, I've seen a number of those articles about the Christmas star. Um, not sure what it actually is, but definitely going to have to go uh, go check it out and see. We had, supposedly, we were supposed to be able to see the Northern Lights here in our area uh, uh -huh. a couple nights ago. But uh, it was not... Not clear enough to Ow. be able to see them. Oh, don't stab yourself. Stabby, stabby. There was no, there was no uh, age requirement for Penny Dog's coin opening tool. Oh, why? Legit, that's why awesome that you're having a great day. Super, super cool. If I can handle knives in the kitchen, I can handle a stabby, stabby. Papa Giorgio, that's awesome. That's super, super cool. I mean, sometimes I can't handle knives. Uh, flashback to the mango incident of 2018. Oh, yes. The mango incident of 18. I remember this. 
Uh, yeah, because I'm an idiot and didn't want to bother Mom, who was, I'm pretty sure, asleep. I can't remember. Probably. Um. She sleeps a lot. I was, well, it was late, and I was cutting <laughs> a mango, and, y'all, and you guys were gone, um, and I was cutting a mango, um, and the knife slipped and went into my finger, and <laughs> I was just kind of freaking out, um, but my, part of my head was like, you need to go, um, tell your mother that you cut your finger open, um, and, um, but the other part of me was like, I don't want to bother her. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Silver Sith, good morning, good morning, thanks for swinging by, thanks for stopping in. Even though I was bleeding everywhere, didn't want to bother her, she's sleeping, let her sleep. That's true. Hey. I'm going to help you go through some of your coins. I'm going to look at coins. Yeah, but she cut her nose opening a box at work one day, or a bag at work. So we can always make fun of her for that. Mom? Uh-huh. She's got a scar on her nose. <laughs> this is interesting. It's got a little straight. Oh, nice. <clears throat> what we got here? There is more info on Ness's website for those who are stargazers. Papa Giorgio, thanks for that. That's good information. Thanks for sharing that. It is nice to get out. Get out and look at the stars once in a while. Get away from the city. There you go. Helper number one on the board. It's been a bit. But there we go. One, 2009. Do you remember which one that is? Nope. That is formative years. Let's see if it has any doubling by the fingers. Let's go ahead and turn the scope on. Come here, scope. There we go. So if there was any doubling, I know this is one that's pretty popular. Get some doubling in the fingers here. This one is not doubled, but uh, we'll set it aside anyway, because we set aside all our 2009s. Don't know why. I'm pretty sure we could paint a picture with all the 2009s. We could do lots of things with all the 2009s that we have, but see, here's the thing. If we start to collect all the 2009s, then we will have all the 2009s, and then we control the market on 2009s. Uh, yeah, I don't think that'll ever happen. <laughs> That was my idea when I was younger. Uh, I would get all of the Susan B. Anthony dollars that I could find. And then that would make them more valuable because I would can control the rarity. Supply and demand. I have all the supply. Everybody demands them. Problem is, they minted <laughs> millions and millions and millions. <laughs> it was a flawed idea, but an exercise in uh, the economy nonetheless. Yes, you do have to take economics at one point in time. Got to know how um, things work. Why is it pronounced economics? Who says economics? Ec- economics? Economics? I'm going to snag one of your rolls. Give you a hand. Stop it. I'll give you all the points. I don't care. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. <clears throat> I also have a scar um, in between my eyes. It's tiny, and it's a little dot from when a wasp stung me in between my eyes. Why'd you let that happen? Or is that something your parents did? I blame your parents. Dereliction of parental duties. I was at school. Oh, (laughs) oh, those terrible teachers. Goodness. Uh, Don't take care of my kid. Fourth grader, fourth, fourth grade, um... At recess, talking to two of my friends, uh, we saw this big fly-looking thing and all started swatting it because we thought it was a big fly. Oh. I was the only one who got stung. I got stung on my pinky and in between my eyes. And now I have a little dot in that thing there. Oh. That's <laughs> because you're tastier than your friends. You know when they sting, you don't they don't taste anything. Else. Nope, that's because they stick you with their butt, not their face. They're not, they're not mosquitoes. <laughs> Which also, apparently all mosquitoes have a thing for me. 
and I have a weird reaction to them. It's not an allergic reaction. I don't know. I just swell up, but only on my face and hands. If you do. Know. You do. We got J-Dub, the Iowa quarters. Um, I, I used to keep them. Now I just keep really, really nice ones. Um, I have a... Sorry, Holby. I have not you have a and slabbed, uh, you have a slabbed proof Iowa quarter. Uh, we got. I keep asking for dollar coins at the bank. The majority of them give me are Sacagaweas, Susan B. Anthony's. Have you found any of the wide rim? No, I have not come across any of the the wide rim. Uh, and I've gone through quite a few uh, Susan B. Anthony's. Um, Two thousand and nine. Oh, nice. Good job. This Which is one birth. is that? Is that the log cabin? Yep. Nice. Nice. So let's put it in order. Um, so no, I have not come across any of those. And then as far as dollar coins, um, I don't uh, I don't care for the dollar coins, the presidentials, the Sacagaweas, um, after Susan B. So I don't usually get them from the bank. They usually have some there if I want to get them from the tills. Uh, I more ask about their half dollar situation if they have any in the tills because they just get so excited to sell me half dollars because for whatever reason it's painful to have half dollars in their tills. Yeah, legit. Uh, she's got uh, got her 2009 magnet going on. What you doing over there? That's a mess. I'm very confused. What's up? I cannot tell the date on that. I think it might be 70. Yeah. At first I thought it was 50. It is. That is funny looking. What does it look like? It's not a wheat penny. It's not a wheat penny, so I know it's not 30. Oh, it's 70. 1970. D. I'm going to help you out with one more. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. How do I know you're not Stamp them the all the Iowa lights. quarters with cheese head. <laughs> yes, it was a sad day uh, when, uh, when Helper 2 asked for an Aaron Rodgers jersey for Christmas one year. He almost got a stocking full of coal instead. To be honest, I don't know why the threat is if you're not good, you get coal. Because to be honest, coal is really valuable. You could sell it. What would you do with it? Get money off of it. Oh, but who buys coal? Like here, I have five pounds of coal. <clears throat> City, you need electricity. Buy my coal? Is that? Pretty much, yeah. Mm. There's an untapped market that I'm unaware of, apparently. I was talking to my friend about it, and um, she was like, you know coal is really valuable, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? So really, the only thing that could actually scare kids into being good, once they know that, is the threat of being kidnapped. Exactly. That's why Krampus is so much scarier. And then you have, uh, I can't remember, like, I can't remember the other guy's name, but it's also a threat. Just like, you're just going to get beaten. <laughs> I don't know if it's also Krampus. Probably. Krampus is a super bad guy. But I know it's uh, something to do with Krampus Knocked. And St. Nicholas Talk. I still don't know if I want to take German in high school. Oh, you got to take German. You don't take French because then four people in the house can talk to you in German and make fun of you and your silly Frenchiness. Okay, but French is a pretty language. German is aggressive. Oh, it's only aggressive because people like to think it's aggressive. See. Also, I already know some German. You do. You unfortunately know some of the swear words, <laughs> courtesy of your father. Oh, goodness. And my brothers. And your brothers? Mm hmm Oh, my, 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 my. I just think French is a pretty language. And all my friends are taking Spanish, so either way, I can't talk to them in code. That's Not true. In code, but. That's true. All right. We are going to be doing our first mid-box giveaway. Um, I'll get it. start getting it set up while, while helper number one is... Finishing her roll, throwing coins around the house. We're going to give away this copper round. Little Morgan on the front. And kind of a generic eagle on the back. 
one ounce copper round that we'll send your direction. We'll do our number guessing like we do normally on this channel. Um, and we'll see how it goes. I'll put up a range of numbers in the chat and I'll give everybody a few seconds to do a guess. We don't have a boatload of people in the, in the chat today. Um, but whoever is closest without going over, we will send you this round. It's not a John Deere tractor though. JW Coins and Hobbies, if you get a chance, go over and visit his channels. Uh, both his coin channel and his JW Undiscovered channel. Ooh, gross. He's giving away cool coin stuff, but he's also giving away little John Deere tractors. Wait, little John Deere tractors? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Everybody needs little John Deere tractors. Yes, just one guess, legit. Uh, one guess, one guess only. Uh, I will go ahead and put that number here shortly. Silver and gold, hello, hello. Hello, you have uh, arrived just on time. Exactly. All the lurkers come out when uh, giveaways happen, right? It's like, ooh, I'm here, I'm listening. I heard free stuff. <laughs> no, and JW Undiscovered, his gaming channel, he's giving away a John Deere tractor because he plays Farming Simulator. And it's a John Deere tractor because John Deere is the best. Your grandpa, your grandpa had John Deere tractor, but then your great grandpa, he had red tractors. We don't talk about those red and orange tractors very much, because green is the best. Oh, <laughs> All right, I am gonna go ahead and put the number in the chat. Remember that it is one guess and one guess only. How would I paint someone a little John Deere tractor on a tiny canvas and send it to them? There you go. There you go. <laughs> one guess and one guess only. Whoever is the closest without going over. Who wants a John Deere tractor? <laughs> Going to win this one ounce copper round. And then, of course, all of the winners get sweet Carl's Coin stickers. You got more of them. Yep, I did. I had to order more. Because I've given away a whole bunch. People like my stickers. Because it's flipping cool. Alright. Why don't you go ahead. You go ahead and keep going. Um, I'm going to bring up the scorecard. We'll show you where we're at. I think Helper 1 is actually in the lead because of the 2009s. Yeparu. She is. Sitting at 15 to my sad little 11. Go ahead and hide that again. All right. <laughs> love seeing the numbers in the chat. Love it, love it, love it. Well, here's a random fun fact about video games. Um, first person shooters are uh, proved to actually improve your hand eye coordination. Oh, yeah? So, most people who play those before they take their first driving test. Um, uh, Actually, most majority of them ace their driving test. I think, I think people should play Grand Theft Auto before they go take their driving test. No. <laughs> I think people should obey laws. Let's say only one guess, Eric. But you are welcome to make that second one because you put the same one as in Bionic Bull. So let's go ahead and let's do this. And bing. Remove. There. Now it's gone. There we go. Now we're all set. Thanks, J-Dub. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the Merc design for sure. Any goodies over there while I'm buying time? All right. I think that is... Enough time. I'm going to put stop, stop, stop into the chat. And while that is rolling through, what's this guy over here? A 1975. That's cool. boring. The sad boxes. Although, I did find that uh, buffalo nickel at the end of our last nickel hunt in the last roll. So maybe we'll have some last roll hints. 
Last, last roll luck. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got. The number is 25. So legit sir noobs, you are the winner with 24. Closest without going over. Very nice. Shoot me off an email down here to carlscoins at gmail.com. And I will get that off to you. I got a few things to send out. Uh, sold some coins on eBay that I need to send out. Oops. Oh, goodness. Making a mess. Chuck. I just sold this guy on eBay. 1964. Proof 68. Silver half dollar. I got to get it off in the mail. Somebody's getting a Christmas gift, I believe, based on what the seller said, or the buyer said. All right, so legit, we'll get that copper sent your direction, and let's get back into the hunt, see if we can find anything cool. I'm going to have to pick up a bunch of rolls. I got time off work starting uh, in a week. So I gotta pick up a bunch of rolls of coins. Oh, same. <laughs> I'll have some fun. Yeah, you guys get like two weeks off. Yeah, we do. I don't. I don't get that much time off though. Oh, look at that! Bingo, 1941D wheat scent. Oh my goodness, um, that is a wheat scent under there somewhere. Wow, that is in rough shape, but it's a wheat scent for sure because we know by the year. We are way under our average. We usually average 11 to 13-ish wheat cents in a box. Right now we have three. That's terrible. I really want chaos, but I'm not energetic enough for chaos. Chaos? Chaos. What's chaos? Chaos. Do you not know the definition of chaos? I do, but what is that? I don't How know. This connect? is boring. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, goodness, we got to keep digging then. Don't go to sleep on me here. Uh, I'm tired already, so oh. good luck. Hey, I just split it randomly, and I found a wheat scent. Nice, see? 1954. It's actually really good looking. Wow, seriously? Holy cow, check that out. Should I get a... Nice. I'm not going to let you double dip. Why? 1954, Denver. Wow. Okay, you have to admit that's a really, really good looking coin, and I should get points for that. I think you'll get points for which one do you want? Do you want the five points for it being a wheat scent okay. or the two points no, for no, being really I nice? I think I should get seven. What does the chat think? <sighs> double points? All right. Because I'm nice, Yay. double points, even though, did you see what just happened for letting that count as two things? What? You moved into the lead mm -hmm. by one point. There's an asterisk here in this victory. Hey, Kayla fan number one. Hello. Thanks for coming in. Just having a fun little box battle against helper number one this morning. Not a super exciting box this morning, but boy, we've covered the gamut in the chat today. Woo -hoo. Someone give us a topic. Talk and we're something. and we're giving giving away cool stuff. I got some Indian head sense that we'll give away at the end. as well. Awesome, legit. Thanks for sending that to me. Appreciate it. I also have a friend who's in Japan. I missed saying hi to somebody from, from Japan earlier. We had it. Had somebody up in the chat. I was bad. I was a bad host. Missed out on saying hello. Well, Kayla, you should hang out. Wait for just a little bit. Here at the end of the box, we'll give away some. I mean, might. HP? What is I Indian head pennies. Okay. I am going to have to, I think, maybe I'll dig out one of my fatties. I'll give away one of the fatty Indian head scents. Like uh, 1863. The older Indian head scents uh, were a different composition and different size, so they were chunkier. Ooh. 
There we go. There's a 2009 for me. This is a lot of thinking. Yay! My first 2009. Good deal. Bum, 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 bum. Three shield sent O five sad eighty four eighty two not even testing those for copper because we don't keep them. Merry Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa. There you go. You get all of them in there. Mm -hmm. Yes, legit. I am now back in the lead by a whole four points. I really wanted to. Thanks. Let's not do that. Well, you gonna go build a snowman today? You said uh, you're gonna build one yesterday. Yeah, but then it got really dark. Do you want to build a snowman? Will you help me have a body? <laughs> Come on, get away! No one can see him on the floor. We're at the door before we can go. I am disturbed by what I just heard. Dun 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 dun. dun. We're making a mess. What do we got? What do we got? Whoops. Rolling coins everywhere. We need to get some of that cool music like Far North has in the background. But I get so worried about copyright strikes that I don't want to use copyrighted music, so I'll have to do some digging, see what I can find. You're not that big, they're not that big. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Hey, kind of a big deal. Oh, nice. Which one's that? Uh, formative years. Yep. So let's. Whoa! Throw it around. Chuck. That's from the Paisley and Daddy show. Remember? Oh, sorry. Whenever, whenever Paisley or Sheldon drop something. Here we go, formative years. Let's go in just a little bit closer on that. Sorry, it's gonna be out of focus for just a second or two. Let's see what we can see. There we go, that's gonna be better to see. And a little more focus, Danielson. There. Need one of those autofocus fancy scopes. There you go. So now we're a little bit closer. Not quite focused in the way I want. But you can see that there is no doubling there between those fingers. Um, still a 2009. So still one that we'll keep. But no doubling there for sure. Who do we got in the chat? Ah, oh, Mo Money Inc. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, what'd you find again now? Another form of yours. Oh, nice. We'll just keep checking all of these for that doubling. Oh, this one's pretty rough looking. Uh, nope, there you can see the fingers at least really close. Um, right where we're looking to see, right where he's holding that book. But alas, poor Yorick, there is no doubling. Uh, yeah, we do have snow, like three, four inches of it. Um, yeah, we actually got closer to four or five actually. Um, so we do have snow. I started making an igloo last night. However, it's, uh, it's going to warm up. It may stick around till Christmas, but, uh, we shall see. As long as it can melt December 26th, I just want a white Christmas. Yeah, we have not had a white Christmas in a long time. Yeah, I just, I don't even care if it's a frosted Christmas. I need cold weather on Christmas. Oh, cool. Thanks, Far North. I didn't realize that. You won't get strikes when you play music. You'll get claims, which don't harm your account. Strikes are when you use other people's ideas and content for your own. Ah, gotcha. Cool. Well, nobody's going to confuse this with a music channel. That's for sure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
Because if I started singing, it would be unpleasant. Or at least the helpers tell me that they don't appreciate when I sing. Yeah, I was going to say. Depending on my mood, it could be super fun stuff. That is... This is most definitely a coin that has spent some time in the ground. Wow. And that's a shield scent, too. Gross. I think they need to change the back of the coins again. You think so? What yeah. do you think should be on the back of the coins? I think we should go back to having an eagle. We could have an eagle on the back? Yeah, an eagle. That'd be kind of cool. Who should be Who should be on the front? Do you think it's time to get rid of Lincoln and have somebody else? Nah. No? Lincoln's fine. Okay. <clears throat> well, I mean, they gave him a five belt, so maybe... Well, I mean, I guess they gave Washington the one and the quarter. I feel like... The presidents who get a thing should only get one thing. You don't get to be a dollar and a coin. You get to be a dollar or a coin. So I say the quarters start having animals on both sides. That would be a, that would be a change. We could put uh, animals other than eagles. What animal do you think? So we have we've had animals. We've had a eagles. Rhino. We've had buffaloes. Why would we have a rhinosaur? Because we can. But we don't have rhinoceroses in the United States. We could have a turkey and make Benjamin Franklin's ghost happy. Did he want a turkey? He did. He thought the turkey should be the uh, national bird as opposed to the eagle. Thanksgiving would have been a whole lot different. And to be honest, I don't really like Thanksgiving. I like the idea of eating a bunch of food, but I don't... I don't know. Gives me an excuse to cook a whole bunch, use the smoker, and drink a bottle of wine. That's a pretty darn good day in my book. <laughs> uh, far north, there's some free music you can add that's copyright free. Silver Nitrate in his description of videos has... Oh, cool. I'll have to go check that out. Um, I think that'd be nice to add. Um, now that I've kind of figured out, I've gotten my camera to work much better um, up here so it's not dying on me on a regular basis. Something we struggled with early on. I figure I can start adding in a thing or two new. I'll have to go find some music. I knew something looked different. We got a Canadian. Oh, nice. Good job. Uh, what year? Let's see. 97. So 97? Is it magnetic, do you think? No, they're not magnetic 97s. Oh. It's only 2012s. Oh. Which I want one. Um, Where's that, Canadian? Here it is. Over in our Canadian pile. So what are the points at right now? The points helper number one is at 35, while Carl's Coins is sitting at a sad 26. This is not. We need more. We're goodies. I'm almost down to my last row. I'm just slow then. That's all right. I'm pretty good at talking and doing things simultaneously. I'm drinking chocolate milk, so. I'm not. I still got some coffee here from Alaska. <laughs> coffee traveled a long way to keep me awake. Plain black coffee. Mo Money Ink. Okay. Yes, I do use OBS. Um, straight up vanilla OBS. I don't have any of the. Uh, Different versions of OBS with like stream stream labs and that kind of stuff. I the only type of coffee I drink is mochas and lattes. And you things. drink candy in a cup. No, that's a frappuccino. I don't like frappuccinos; they're too sweet. Oh. Az 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 checkers. Maybe you're a you're a jinx, man. <laughs> That's okay. I appreciate you having around, or being around for sure. I don't mind. And I appreciate it more. I do not mind losing because I still yes, get to... Yes, you do. Uh, yeah, you're right. I do. Um, but I still get to spend time with my helpers, which is pretty cool. Even when they're tired and maybe not as excited to be hunting today. That's okay, <clears throat> though. Uh, Mo Money, Inc., um, yeah, shoot me off an email uh, down here at carlscoins at gmail.com, and I'll share it with you. It's just a Google Doc. Nothing crazy. 
Um, and using OBS, yeah, very, very simple. Uh, it's an open source software. There's tons and tons and tons of folks um, that use it. Uh, I actually had used it at a previous job. Um, so I had played around with it there. But there are little little tips and tricks, uh, and it's changed all the time. You got to be a little careful um, what you're bringing into it, but for the most part, it works pretty stinking slick. Um, and the best part is it's free. We're making podcasts and uh, tech. Oh, yeah? What are you guys using for that? Are you guys using... Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Um, the thing that's owned by Spotify now. Is that what you guys are using? I um, think it's owned by Spotify, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. That's yeah, terrible. Making... Considering I bought it for the school the first time around when <laughs> I was working there. Yeah, but we're making podcasts, and I have to decide what I want mine to be about. Hmm. We can do it on any topic. You should do it about your artwork. I bet it's weird to talk about artwork. Yeah, that'd be kind of hard, huh? I mean, maybe the coin podcast. Talk about coins. Oh, there you go. You could talk about all your animal coins. <laughs> 2009. Formative years for moi. Or, you know... Because you have a plethora of world coins. I do. But, um... Oh. There are lots of ideas for podcasts. Oh, I think I should get a point for this guy being really nice. What year is it, though? So, 1960. Oh, nice. I'll give it to you. If I can get it in frame. That's a really nice guy. Awesome. That's very cool. Go ahead and set it up here with these other ones that we're keeping. Trying to learn how to get that down downward shot you have for your coin that is just your hand showing. So, that actually was the, <laughs> the biggest pain in the backside to sort. So what I did is I bought a tripod that it's not even really a tripod, a stand that goes underneath this mat and then it goes up and it holds the camera vertically. So it points it straight down. At one time in its life, this was a shield set. Oi, 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 oi. So that one took me a while to get sorted. Um, but also too, um, you know, we're not going to make a million dollars doing YouTube videos. So I try not to buy a lot of stuff and repurpose. I try to repurpose stuff that I have and make it work. So like that's a, an old unused iPhone that uh, I use for my vertical camera. It's not an unused iPhone. I'm sure the helper here used it some. Well, he used to. So it's not unused. Sorry. Yes, it is a dis no longer used. you got there oh wow oh now we have all four of them that's the presidency that's the last one of the we should switch to so there's coins for amateurs they do you only get points if you find the whole set well uh i don't like that <laughs> you would have got your points there for sure Do, 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 do. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Man, I don't even have nothing, anything to check for close or wide AMs. Permanent views. Oh my goodness. You're finding all the 2009s now on the back half of your box. Because you stole my side. That's what it was. That's the point. Exactly. We got. I'm down to five rolls. So the iPhone is up top, pointed down, and you run a wire from the phone to the computer, so you can see the picture in the monitor. Yep, absolutely. That's exactly how it works. Um, and the iPhone is picked up by OBS, and that's how we get that vertical shot. Our speaker is the blue speaker that you found on um, Clarence, I believe. And the microphone that we use is a blue snowball that I picked up on clearance from Wally World. 
It was on secret hidden clearance, which if you don't know what that is, you need to go find, uh, there's another YouTube channel I watch called Super Unsexy. It's an awesome YouTube channel, but he goes around scanning stuff in Walmart to find things that are on secret hidden clearance. So I saved like 50 bucks on a snowball mic. Um, and so my lighting, Mo Money, uh, it's a window uh, with a ceiling fan light over there. <laughs> I just got a notification that's like, watch live now. And I was like, oh, which one of the YouTubers I subscribed to is live? And I was like, oh, you we are. are. <laughs> <laughs> I got excited. I like watching um, people play Among Us live. We need to watch AOC play Among Us live sometime. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. I heard that she does that. She does. She's one of the cool kids, apparently. She's a millennial. Yeah. Uh, Far North Coins, I agree. The iPhone, um, I know other folks use iPad. I uh, use an iPad as well um, for the vertical camera. I tried a webcam. I had a Logitech C930E or something like that. It just didn't focus uh, quick enough or at all. So I don't use that one. So the, the iPhone, great camera. Um, the app that I have on it. Okay, so can I get pretty points for this one? I'll go ahead. Thank you. Not super nice, or not old, but a 1963. I was like, nice. not super nice. If you're going to say it that way, then no, you can't have points. Um, there's also a plug-in that brings the iOS directly into OBS, which helps too. Sorry for all the questions, but I really want to elevate my channel in 21 now that I can get coins. Mo Money Inc., no, absolutely. No problem asking those questions at all. Um, that's, you know, that's kind of how I started. I asked around, found out what other people were doing. Um, I started watching um, probably one of the first channels I watched um, right after Rob Finds Treasure uh, was JW Coins and Hobbies. And then I found... Uh, Far North and Robin Hood Coins and uh, every one of those channels, they either post what they use so they share that information or I've asked, sent an email. Like I sent an email to Robin Hood Coins because I know he used uh, uses a Mac. Uh, I use a Mac as well. Um, and it's all about trading information. Nobody, nobody in here in this coin community or around the area um, that I go to are jerks. They're all super nice. Everybody's willing to share their information and talk about Except how they do stuff. Except that one guy steals everything. Who's that? I don't know, but when we went to the coin show, he like stole. All the oh stuff. yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, that was a guy that stole stuff from a coin show. But um, I was talking about YouTube and streaming. Um. Um, everybody's just super nice and they want to share information. Um, yeah, Far North, that's even better. You're, you're a hundred percent right. Um, StreamYard, you can just start working with a, just a straight up webcam and go from there. Um, what's everyone's opinion on the Ratatouille musical? Does everybody know that there was a Ratatouille musical? That there is a Ratatouille musical. There is a Ratatouille musical. <laughs> yeah, that's the real question. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? No. I eat ratatouille. Well, I know about the musical because you told me about the musical. <laughs> I'm excited. What we got? Do you just use the iPod camera or do you use it with a webcam? Um, just the just the iPhone camera is all I use. I don't use the webcam. Do not update to Big Sur OBS crashes. Yes, thank you for doing that first, Far North Coins. I appreciate you being the trendsetter. Uh, and I don't think OBS has dropped an update yet. That fixes that. Okay, but basically, the Ratatouille musical, um, a bunch of teenagers got really bored on TikTok over quarantine and made a musical for Ratatouille. And Broadway knows this. So now they're having a one-time showing, it's a streaming, um, on January 1st, 2021. Nice. I'm trying to figure out more information. It shouldn't exist, just keep the movie. No! No! <laughs> No. Legit, How dare legit you. sir noobs. How dare you? You're gonna you're gonna get some No angry eyes at you. Alright, I got a nineteen fifty looks like a Denver wheat scent. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the row here and a formative years as well. So I'm going to give myself a couple of points here. Finally got a wheat scent. And I'm going to up the game there. And, ooh, I'm getting closer. Getting closer to catch up. <clears throat> okay. But here's the thing. The Ratatouille musical is... I've listened to the soundtrack on soundtrack on multiple occasions. It is amazing. <laughs> I just sit on my bed listening to the soundtrack curled up like a ble like a burrito in the blanket. It is it is the most amazing, wonderful thing ever. And I'm trying to figure out more information on the actual like stream musical. All I know is that the um, the money is going to the Actors Fund. Um, oh, the act well, okay. Because they're not making the monies right now? Not making money right now. No. Correct. Nice 2020. Rest in peace, Beetlejuice. They're not plays. Shh, calm down. <laughs> like somebody's getting triggered. <laughs> I love Broadway. <laughs> Never actually seen a Broadway Are there show, any but... good YouTube videos you would recommend? <laughs> hey, Muscle Shell. Good morning. Good morning, or it's almost afternoon here. And with a musical, you can sit down for... And just... Yeah. Exactly. AZ Checkers, I'm excited to hear you're getting into... Uh, getting into some streaming. Let me know if uh, if you need if you need any help or... What you got? I'm excited to try to see what you're gonna do. Um, we were talking games earlier, and we actually didn't talk about checkers. Uh, AZ Checkers has a great, great uh, YouTube channel on checkers and playing checkers. Um, much more complicated game uh, than I had ever thought. Uh, definitely go check out his channel and see what things you are missing out in Checkerland. And then play games against your kids and destroy them. Oh, thank you, Bionic Bull. So, <clears throat> personally, I think my favorite musical is still Hamilton because it was the first one that I, like, saw. Um, we saw it off-Broadway uh, in Des Moines. And it was probably one of the best experiences I've had besides Disney. Yeah, you're a spoiled kid. You got to go to Hamilton. You've gotten to see uh, Good Eats live. Yeah, that You've was fun. You've gotten to see the Mythbusters live. Yeah, and we got to meet and greet. We got to meet the Mythbusters. That was awesome. That was pretty stinking cool. But yeah, I... Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm pretty sure I've watched the Hamilton... Uh, musical movie uh, about five times. Did I tell you I did the Hamilton workout on the Peloton the other day? What's the Hamilton workout? They play the Hamilton soundtrack while you cycle. That's amazing. It was actually pretty cool. I was I was shocked. I did not think it was going to be as fun as it was. Although I do like the musical as well. But um, I like just some examples. This looks gold, but it's not. Nope. No gold pennies. No gold pennies exist, but it looks cool, so I'm keeping it. Um, as I was saying, some of my favorite musicals are probably Six, uh, Hamilton, Notice the Theme of Mostly Historical-Based Musicals. Um, then some random ones are Dear Evan Hansen, Formative Years. It's not a musical, but look at that. <clears throat> so, give me points. All right, I'm going to... What did you just find? Uh, formative years. Oh, formative, formative years? years? Okay. Um, back to musicals. Dear Evan Hansen, uh, Phantom of the Opera, Wicked, or just to name a few. Ratatouille. <laughs> Which I think is, like, the only musical based off of um, a Disney movie that I actually enjoy. I hated the Frozen musical... I hate it. Isn't Frozen a musical already? Just, they made it into an like, actual Broadway thing. Oh, did they? Yeah, they did. Oh, wow. Today I learned. 
We got going on in the chat. Watched Hamilton on Disney Plus. Oh, no I'm one sorry. Asked your opinion. Oh, yes, we do. We want to know everybody's opinions. Uh, it's okay. We'll continue to be salty. That's all right. We need to live in a world where it's okay to have differing opinions on things. Ooh, check that out. There's a parking lot coin. Oh, nice. Good job. The 55. Nice. That's a pretty nice looking coin, too. Um, where is it? Where'd you put it? No, where did you put it? Right here? Uh, yeah. Okay. What's the scoreboard looking like? Dad? Bring it up a few more anyway. All right, let's give you your points. Hey, hang on. Look. What? Another wheat cent. Oh, wow, in the same roll. Yeah, 58. Nice. Well, uh, that's sure helping out your status. So let's go ahead and bring up the score sheet here. All right, currently... 58. Currently, I am getting destroyed. I am losing 62 to 43, and I have exactly this many rolls left. I have five. So that hurts, but that's okay. So you need to find approximately like uh, three wheat pennies? Uh, actually, seven. if I find one Indian head cent, I win. Yes. <laughs> or one... Fake play money coin. Correct. So what do you think? Do you think there's a, a play coin in here? I I would like No, there's no there's no play money in here. If you found play money, I would give you a dollar. <laughs> Sweet! I need a dollar. No, you don't. I don't know. You don't know how much I spend on Christmas gifts. No, no, I don't. <laughs> But I'm sure you wouldn't put our financial status in risk. And I wouldn't put no. it that way. You're right. For Christmas music. You're right. Music. Okay. Christmas, I can't think. Christmas presents. Oop. There's a 2009. Professional I'm life. I'm still ahead of you. By quite a bit. Plus you have to deal with bionic bullseye. Oh, thank you. So, legit likes uh, Phantom of the Opera. I enjoyed Phantom of the Opera. That is one that I may have slept through in the theater. I never saw it in theaters. Um, also, how? <laughs> it's very loud. easy. I just tilted my tilted my head over and... It's opera. It's loud. Sleep. No, that one wasn't too bad. We also got to remember, too, I slept through a monster truck pull... Uh, yep. I've slept through, I slept through a uh, concert. I went to, uh, Three Doors Down and some other folks when I was in college and I fell asleep oh, during that Rent concert. Oh, Rent is also a good musical. Oh, that's a good one. Wow. Have you ever listened to Six? To Six? Yeah, it's, uh, The Six Wives of Henry VIII. No. <laughs> Basically, it's like, if they hadn't died and they're like, okay. So the premise of it is um, the Six Wives of Henry VIII uh, make a modern girl band, um, and to figure out who's the leader of the girl band, um, quote unquote, uh, uh, they basically it's who Henry hurt the most. <laughs> um, so what I'm hearing is that your podcast should be about musicals. Yes. This is <laughs> this is this is what I'm hearing right now. All right, I am officially out of coins, and I am behind. I will help helper one, but uh, I have lost significantly. I don't think I'll get anything. Let's grab. Such a CP poppy. Let's grab. Yeah, let's do this one. We'll add this one to the pile of Indian head scents. So while we're finishing up, I grabbed oh, yeah. a couple of things. Where were we? We will be giving away, at the end of our box here, a 1902 Indian head scent, a 1905 Indian head scent, and I dug out one of the fatties and got an 1863 Indian head scent. I 
started my new book the other day. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Fire blood. It's a dystopian. Of course it is. Mom will always question my decisions. Sounds like some NFL teams I know. Yeah. Uh-huh. Indeed. There is no scenario where I can magically find more points. <laughs> That's all right. I still, I'll hope I'll find something good for Helper One. There's at least, there's quite a bit of old copper in here though, but just not wheat pennies, wheat pennies or anything like that. Or, whoa. That's a 19. Not worth anything. Nope. What's going on in the chat? So the helpers got called up to the NHL. Carl's being shipped off to the East Coast Hockey League. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm good enough for that. Sadness. I can skate, but I don't play hockey. That's all right. Whew, dirty coins. We got a mess to clean up, too, when we're done here. Yay. That's all right. I want to take a nap. <laughs> almost, almost done. Last roll of your extra rolls. You got one more over there. And then we'll do our fun giveaway for our Indian head scents. And can I pick the number this time? Absolutely. You can even, you're going to pick the range too? Yeah. Okay. How about I pick the number, you pick the range. Okay. Nope. 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 It's like JW looking for a DDO. Nope. Nope. We Sorry, dropped... J-Dubs. Nobody's made that joke in a really long time. We dropped quite the amount of coins today. We did. Also, the box that we were putting coins in has officially overflowed. That's all right. We'll move it to a larger container so I can take it and dump it at the bank this week. Only one more week of school, then winter break. And then we have about a month or two of school, then we have spring break. You guys going to get spring break this year? If we don't, I'm going to quit school. Well, your spring break last year Lasted went for a few months, seven kiddo. Months. <laughs> We get spring break no matter what. They can't take it away. And if they do, then we better be getting more summer. Everyone thinks that it's easier if you're online, but it's not. <laughs> Dare I say it's harder. Sorry, I'm not in the frame right now. Sorry, I will have you pick a, pick a number from that range. Far north. Yeah, that's so there is at least last time I was down to my LCS, they had uh, a Dance Go Indian Head uh, album. I almost snagged it, but I need to I need to finish up my quarters. Um, I'm trying to get all of the quarters from oh, 32. 32 forward, so I want to get those done. And then I may lose my mind and go SLQ next uh, and try to get some standard li stand standing Liberty quarters um, and do that connection collection next. But we will be giving away these three here shortly. The 02, the 05, and then the 1863. Oh, can we just declare that I have won? Oh, yes. I will bring up the score. Officially... This is how it ended today. 62 to 48. Now, 
we ended up only with three Canadians. One, two, three, four, five, six wheat cents is all. Um, this is a pretty rough box for us. Not, uh, not our normal boxes at all. Um, which is no good. So I'm going to let helper one pick out a number. I'm going to put a number in chat. Um, Far North, I don't remember what they had on it. For the most part, they put um, between $20 and $40 on their used dance school albums. They, they don't try to, to take people and... Uh, I've written a number. Take their money for anything, but... Um, I don't, it wasn't there before, um, and then all of a sudden it showed up, and so I don't know how long it'll be there, though. Um, but uh, I can go look. Um, I can go look next week, and if it's still there, I'll give you a holler, tell you how much they want for it. All right, the range is now in the chats. Um, what do we got? I am a teacher and teaching learning ver uh, very hard virtually. Mo Money, Inc., um, I appreciate you. All the teachers trying to teach these days, uh, it's tough. I see it from the kid's side. I see it having worked in a school previously, um, having actually, if you go far enough back, I was a classroom teacher back in the day. Um, just, this is really hard. It's really hard. Puts people in a rough spot for sure. Um, especially if you weren't prepped for it. So I want to thank everybody for hanging out with us today, uh, spending some time with us. Um, um, spending some time with us, having a good time, watching me get my tail kicked by helper number one. Sorry we had such a rough box. Uh, would have liked to share some better goodies than we were able to find. Um, I would say this is probably my my favorite of the box. This really nice looking uh, 1954 out of Denver, that wheat scent that you found. Mm -hmm. Uh, definitely a nice looking coin and that coin didn't the variation in the rules did not cause you to win so that's okay I'm glad I did that so your plans for the rest of the day naps yes yep naps and then Christmas with family yep I think I'm going to fall asleep watching a Christmas movie and uh, yeah I'm gonna go freeze my took us off at the ice arena have fun. It's cold in there. They didn't even turn the heat on today. Oh. That was miserable when we were there it's at 645. Uh, I think mom's got one there. I have a ridiculous obsession with um, fuzzy blankets. You do. You have a lot of fuzzy blankets. Blazer, yes. But I will continue to have fuzzy blankets. Indeed. Indeed. All right. We got 10 viewers. Uh, yeah. Nice. 10 viewers and 16 likes. That's pretty cool. Um, One, two, three, we'll just give a few more seconds for folks to put in their numbers. Remember, one guess, whoever's the closest without going over. I'm going to go ahead and put... If Kayla is still here. Stop, stop, stop in the chat. Okay. And let's see what number did number the helper pick. Number 27, I believe. Number was 27. So closest without going over is Mo, Mo Money, Money Inc. Inc. Mo Money Inc. at 24. Congrats, Mo Money Inc. Um, please shoot me off an email down here to Carl's Coins oh, at I Gmail. Didn't show this guy. This is a um, 1959, so no coins, but it's black. Nice. Cool. Shoot me off an email, Mo Money, and uh, we'll get these in the mail to you. Uh, I'll be packaging up some stuff later today. Haven't sent out my goodies from last week for folks yet. But uh, thank you so much for stopping in today. I hope everybody has a great week, and I'm sure I will see you all around at different channels. Take care, be safe, and as always,